Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing um, part two, I guess, of the Tarte palette. Um, we are on the second row. And sorry guys, I totally forgot to swatch these before I did this video. Oopsies. Um, we're on the second row. Um, I did not film this look because it's not really, I mean, it's a look, but... Um, but we're also going to talk about the Maracuja oil and the lipsticks today. So, we are on row two, which is this row right here. And the colors are... Starting here, this is Fall in Love. Uh, Province Upon a Time, Eiffel for You, Too Hot to Handle, and uh, Bastel in the Night. So these are the colors, and they're two mattes, and the rest have a little bit of shimmer to them. Uh, this one, Fall in Love, is, uh, for me, not very pigmented. As you guys know, skin tones, basically, they divide them up into, like, five categories. So you've got your fair, your light, your medium, your tan, and your deep. And most people fall in the medium category. I do not. I fall in the light category. So just because this color doesn't show up on me, if you are medium, tan, or deep, then these colors, you know, then I, this is going to show up on you. So just so you guys know, I am in the light category of the whole thing. So, you know, when I say, okay, this isn't very pigmented, it's not pigmented for me, which is light. Okay, anyway, um, so those are the shadows and I do have them on today. Um, again, I am going to say about the shadows is that um, I do like the colors and I don't mind um, using these, but these are not, this to me is not a palette that like you're running late for work, you don't have a lot of time, you need to hurry up and get going. These shadows are not the ones you want to grab for because they do take time to work and get them blended and together. So for me, this isn't a quick grab the palette, put it on, and let's go out the door. This one is for when I have time to sit down and actually do some makeup. So anyway, um, in the packet also you get the Tarte Maracuja Oil, which um, I was so excited to try this. You guys know, I've said this a hundred times, I'm trying to get into oils. Now, I don't know what's necessarily going on with this because when I put this on, I don't have like a burning sensation, but my face turns red. I don't know why. Um, it seems weird to me that I would be allergic to or have a reaction to an oil. So that seems very, very strange to me. Um, I do have the Maracuja Oil Roller Balls, and I haven't had any issue with that. And I, the formula isn't any different, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't know if I'm having a reaction to what I'm using on my face before I put this on. But again, that seems weird to me that an oil would have a reaction with something else that I'm using. So I'm really, really not very sure. I'm going to give this a couple more tries because, you know, I can't tell if I like it or not. I, But I don't like that my face turns all red afterwards. I mean, there's a slight tingle on my skin when I use it. But it's not like burning, but my face turns red. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Okay, so um, let's move on to the lipstick, and this is the Tarte Lip Surgeon in Romantic, and you get this in the palette, and it's a crayon, and that's the color, and I do have it on today. Okay, what I'm going to say is the smell of this is overly pepperminty really strong peppermint smell. Now, I personally love everything peppermint, but this is even strong for me. I mean, it's really, 
very pepperminty. Also, I don't typically like to consistently use lip products that have a peppermint oil in them. Peppermint can be very drying and especially in the winter time when your lips can get cracked and dry and everything like that. I wouldn't be using this just for the fact that I don't want to add to the chap lip problem, you know. So, um, but I do really like this color and actually um, I like it best if after it's been on for a while, it kind of changes its color a little bit. It becomes a little bit more deeper. I don't know if it's the stain that's involved. When you first put it on, it's a little bit lighter. And then when it wears through the day, it kind of becomes a little deeper in color. And that's the color that I really like, um, is that it just kind of deepens in color. So I do really like that. So those are that's kind of my thoughts on that. I wouldn't, just for the pepperminty smell and stuff, I wouldn't necessarily go out and grab up all of those. Then on to the Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss. Um, and this one is in Visionary that you get in the little packet. And it just has the little doe foot applicator. And that is the color right there. Now, I really like this lip gloss. Um, I didn't notice the smell to it. It's got more of a vanilla smell to it. So that I like. I can handle that a little bit more than the very strong pepperminty smell. Um, I love wearing this on its own. It's kind of um, more of a sheer color when you put it on, but I absolutely love it. Let's top this and just kind of see. So it adds a little shine and stuff. So I really do um, really enjoy this one. Okay, so that is it for part two. We'll do two more. I'll do looks with the last two. And I'm actually really excited um, for these two colors right here. So the, they seem to be the only like real colors in the palette. It's so it's such a warm palette. Um, with a lot of neutral colors in here, but once we get down here, it looks like we've got a couple sparkly shades down here and a green and a blue that I'm really excited to kind of dive into and see how they work in the pigmentation and everything. So that is it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!